We're here at the Reason Rally with Mr. Aaron Ra. Uh, one more question, if that's all right. If I could prove to your satisfaction that God, the God of the Bible exists, would you worship him? No. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord. Thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. And Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord slew him. And the thing which he did displeased the Lord, wherefore he slew him also. And the Israelitish woman's son blasphemed the name of the Lord and cursed. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Bring forth him that hath cursed without the camp, and let all that heard him lay their hands upon his head. And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day. And the Lord said unto Moses, The man shall be surely put to death. And Agog said, Surely the bitterness of death is past. And Samuel hewed Agog in pieces before the Lord in Gilgal. And it came to pass about ten days after that the Lord smote Nabal, that he died. Uzzah put forth his hand to the ark of God, and took hold of it, for the oxen shook it. And God smote him there for his error, and there he died by the ark of God. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thine own house, and I will take thy wives before thine eyes, and give them unto thy neighbor. The child also that is born unto thee shall surely die. And it came to pass on the seventh day that the child died. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I will bring evil upon the house of Jeroboam, and will cut off from Jeroboam him that pisseth against the walls. And when thy feet enter into the city, the child shall die. Then said he unto him, Because thou hast not obeyed the voice of the Lord, behold, as soon as thou art departed from me, a lion shall slay thee. And as soon as he was departed from him, a lion found him and slew him. And as the men of Judah shouted, it came to pass that God smote Jeroboam and all Israel before Abijah and Judah. And the children of Israel fled before Judah, and God delivered them into their hand. And Abijah and his people slew them with a great slaughter. So there fell down slain of Israel five hundred thousand chosen men. Neither did Jeroboam recover strength again in the days of Abijah, and the Lord struck him, and he died. And after all this the Lord smote him in his bowels with an incurable disease. His bowels fell out by reason of his sickness. And so it was at the beginning of their dwelling there that they feared not the Lord. Therefore the Lord sent lions among them, which slew some of them. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he went down to Ashkelon, and slew thirty men of them. And there came down fire from heaven, and consumed him and his fifty. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord, and the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burnt among them, and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. And there came down fire from heaven, and consumed him and his fifty. And there came out a fire from the Lord, and consumed the two hundred and fifty men that offered incense. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. And the Lord hearkened to the voice of Israel, and delivered up the Canaanites, and they utterly destroyed them and their cities. And they carried the ark of the God of Israel about thither. And it was so that after they had carried it about, the hand of the Lord was against the city with a very great destruction. And he smote the men of the city, both small and great, and they had emeralds in their secret parts. The wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. And it came to pass, as they fled from before Israel, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died. So Joshua smote all the country of the hills, and of the south, and of the vale, and of the springs, and all their kings. He left none remaining, but utterly destroyed all that breathed, as the Lord God of Israel commanded. And he smote the men of Beth Shemesh, because they had looked into the ark of the Lord. Even he smote of the people fifty thousand and threescore and ten men. And the people lamented, because the Lord had smitten many of the people with a great slaughter. And the Lord smote Benjamin before Israel, 
And the children of Israel destroyed of the Benjamites that day twenty and five thousand. Thus saith the Lord, Because the Syrians have said, The Lord is God of the hills, but he is not God of the valleys, therefore will I deliver all this great multitude into thine hand. And so it was, that in the seventh day the battle was joined, and the children of Israel slew of the Syrians an hundred thousand footmen in one day. For Pekah the son of Remaliah slew in Judah an hundred and twenty thousand in one day, which were all valiant men, because they had forsaken the Lord God of their father. And Abijah and his people slew them with a great slaughter. So there fell down slain of Israel five hundred thousand chosen men. Thus the children of Israel were brought under at that time, and the children of Judah prevailed, because they relied upon the Lord God of their fathers. And there came out against them Zerah the Ethiopian, with an host of a thousand thousand and three hundred chariots. So the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa and before Judah, and the Ethiopians were overthrown, that they could not recover themselves. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God.